<laughs> they're not little. They just they're just drawn that way. Kappa. <laughs> The fairy's got to at least be, you know, 100 years old. That's the way all these games work. Now, the one on the right, yes, she's young. Young, innocent, dumb, the whole bit. I bet you would like to help somebody find their kitty. Wink, wink. Nudge, mudge. Reset, you are just terrible. Unlike my cider, which is actually quite lovely. So, just so you know, there's only that much left in this bottle. I have been, I have been doing the bottle justice. Yeah, they are looking for a little kitty, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. That's right. You are not allowed to look for their kitty unless you are registered. Alright. <clears throat> so, here's the charred part. Now, there's a, there's a little spoiler here. That I'm gonna try to avoid. I'm gonna try really hard to avoid it because if any of you guys ever get this game, and forgive me if I'm scratching a lot, um, I'm still I've got rid of the bed bugs. They're all gone from the house, but I think I'm allergic to bug bites, which sounds funny. Um, so I can't help it. I'm scratching a lot more than I'd like to admit. So <clears throat> we are not talking about sex. Are you kidding? This. Is a mature stream. How dare I talk about sex on a mature stream? I would never. <laughs> yeah, first day collections. Yeah, it is very psychosomatic at this point. Very psychosomatic. It has, it has caused me many a night of insomnia, stress, and yeah, my arms are really wrecked. <laughs> Basically from right here all the way to here on both arms is just like a bump wasteland. Um, I can't even help it. I literally have scratched. I won't bring it up to the camera because it makes me feel bad. But there are bites that wrap all the way around, and I've I've been bleeding through here really bad. So I literally <laughs> those bites that you love are different than bed bug bites. Let me assure you, little bug bites not so hot. Little women bites that's a different story. <laughs> but yeah, uh, eventually I'll be okay. I just uh. I actually have went out and bought myself anti-itch lotion, which I need to remind myself to take, and an antihistamine, just in case, you know, that's part of it. <sighs> so, Matabi play is not severe yet. However, the amount is scheduled to increase weekly because it's 10 grand this time, and I think 30 grand the next. This woman is merciless. Do not get lazy. You are entirely correct. Alright, we're going to do our best to make this work. So let's see what I got here. Iron armor, we're going to put you out. I'm putting out everything expensive today. Because I need to make that money back. I need that money, money. Yeah, I know I should probably keep that, but... Hey. 
All right, let's make that cash. <laughs> you, okay, so now, unfortunately, um, roleplay is not here. Because this is the girl, I think, that goes nuts over chocolate and sweets. So normally, uh, <laughs> um, normally you sell to her about 108, 110. That's all she can really afford. But when it comes to sweets, I think she has a higher point. So I'm going to try 125 with her and see what happens. Oh, shit. Yeah, she doesn't like that. Uh, let's try 113. Okay. <laughs> Wedding singer, yeah. Fun movie. Okay, so chocolate sold. Oh, you son of a bitch! You son of a bitch! That could have been a five hundred dollar sell there. God damn you! Okay, well, I still got good on that one. Still way under what I need, but that's okay. That's okay. I only lost 50 bucks on that. Uh, don't suppose you can buy this off of me. <sighs> that's funny. The wife says you gotta sell it. Then I'll buy it off you for 35%. Ah, uh, money going the wrong way, but that's yes. I'll sell that to you. Oh, let's see if you buy at one seventeen. Ooh, yeah, he has a nagging wife. So I'm just a little short, a little short. Yeah! That combo. So I'm a thousand short. I'm a thousand short, which is doable. Because I now have that on my inventory I can sell. And that carries a nice little chunk with it too. So and let's put um I really hate the treasure chest. The treasure. Put this up here. Yeah, I should be able to sell that stuff. I should be able to get my ten grand that I need. Yes! Oh, god damn it! Of all people, Louie, why's it gotta be you? Why's it gotta be you? Ten gram. Fuck yeah. I will sell that to you, sir. Yeah, uh, God. You cheap bastard trying to cut it on me. How dare you try to undercut me? Oh, damn. Do I have a bracelet? A bracelet. I do not have a bracelet. And this is kind of the. Oh, hold on. Oh, 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 I do! Yes, of course you'll take it. And you will take it at 113. Now, that's kind of the other thing you talked about before. When it comes to inventory, you really want to have... God damn it, I need to put this lotion on. Um, when it comes to inventory, you really want to have a wide selection. Um, forgive me here. Because they will come in and they will want any and every goddamn thing. Um, and if you don't have it, they leave disappointed. And that stops. that can stop the sales for the day. Like, you're only allowed, like, one or two missteps, and you're done. And especially when you get into, like, like seven people in a row, it doesn't matter if you've had any missteps. Once you hit that one, it ends it. 
So you really want to have you want to nail your combos, and even if it even if you take a hit, the XP bonus uh, is a huge plus. So you kind of want to you'll occasionally adjust your prices based on what you want to do. Um, today I hit my 10k that I needed. Do any of them always refuse the first offer? Yes. Um, there are the woman does it a lot. Uh, it doesn't matter if if you give her. You could give her, let's say, I think her trigger point is 120-something. She's fairly cheap. So you could give it to her at exactly what she'd buy at, like 123, 123%. You could put it at that, and she'll refuse it. You drop it down to 122, she'll buy it. It's only because she'll refuse it the first time every time. Um, and then, I mean, same thing. If I put it at 130 and then dropped it down to 129, she'd buy it at 129. The number isn't as important as she needs to feel that when she comes in that she offers one, you offer one price and she gets the haggle down to a slightly cheaper price and then she's happy. So, yeah, there, there are some people like that in the game. Um, there are others that uh, if you set the right price immediately, they'll just go for it. And what's funny is if you notice when Let's Roleplay said earlier, uh, when he played through the game... When he played through the game, he sold to everybody at 10% over. Which is nuts. <laughs> the game is all about capitalism, so... It's all about knowing the people and knowing what they'll buy for. Getting a weapon. I will sell you... Not a weapon. Fuck. Okay, so here's one of the examples where I've run out. So... I I offer something that's not a weapon, and he's going to be like, nope, that's not it, and he walks away. And that, yeah, see, and so that's what I said. I had such a big combo going that that's going to end the day. I could go adventuring tomorrow. I have enough money. There's nothing I need. I should try to sell one more time. Yeah, exactly. For a treasure, I have a treasure. It's a shitty treasure, but I have a treasure. See, now, you see? She refused the first one. I'm going to come down to 120. You see what I'm talking about? Literally. She just wanted to feel that she was getting a slightly better deal. Dear, I have grapes for you. I have grapes. Ah, oh, damn it. Ah, shit. Okay. Uh, no. I am not going to adamandeve.com. I am very familiar with adamandeve.com. So that's the other thing. Uh, if you think about the game kind of like... Kind of like having a credit card. Um, <sighs> everybody starts off with a certain amount they can afford. So if you try to get them beyond, to buy beyond what they can afford... It doesn't matter how good of a deal you give them... They literally just can't afford it, so they're not going to go. Uh, and that's kind of that's kind of what happened with her. I sold her. I got greedy and said, "You want food? I got food. I'll sell you this expensive shit of grapes." And no matter what I did, she wouldn't be able to buy it. So I put it at her price point, and it was still outside of her purchase range. So until she levels a bit, uh, levels up a bit more, then I can't afford to sell it to her. And that's kind of one of those things you learn over time. Fortunately, did not end the counter. Can I get you some food? Yes, I can get you food. What do you want? Here, you can't afford that. You can't afford an apple, though. I'll get you an apple. Of course you can afford this. I will make it affordable to you. Yeah, 